All right, I thought this would be easier than trying to trace the wires when it was all clumped together. So I like to have some sort of diagram where I can easily see which wires go to where. And I'll put some screenshots into where some of these major components can be found online in case you ever have to replace it. But you can see this is the red wire that comes from the starter itself. And that's connected to the red wire that comes out of the DC converter. And then this car relay, it's a 24 volt, 40 amp car relay. The yellow one from that came in and connected. And these connected to the red battery wire. So we have the red battery wire that came up. These had a connection point that connected those two together, but I wanted to redo it because I wasn't sure those would stay together once I saw it. And then the yellow wire from the right hand car relay came over and connected there. So I'm going to stick with this car relay now. So this red wire that came off the left hand side didn't go anywhere and these were actually connected and bundled together with the blue one on the right. But they weren't connected, they just didn't go to anything. And then you had the blue go up and connect to the black on the DC converter. And then these two bottom ones, the yellow and the black on the DC converter, actually go out and connect over to your electronic ignition that goes down to the spark plug. And then this black wire here goes out and that actually goes to your points on the prop, the prop hub. So that would be for your timing. So every time that magnet came around on the prop hub, tells it when to fire. And that fire goes out to the spark plugs. So the white wire on the car relay was connected in to the red wire on the throttle. Then let's go ahead and go over, since we've explained, well, we, we still have one more. So the black wire on the left-hand relay was connected to the black wire on the right-hand car relay. The yellow that came out in the right hand came up and was connected to the red, or the, the battery red wire that came from the battery, and those connected here at this point. The red wire that came out from the right hand car relay goes up and connects to the blue wire that goes to the starter. The blue wire on the right hand relay doesn't go anywhere. The white came out and connected to the green that went to the throttle. Then the black, like I said earlier, both blacks from each car relay came down and they connected to the blue battery wire and the blue and the black that you see here, this black one goes to the throttle, this blue one came from the battery, just like I said earlier, and connected to these two black wires that came out of the car relays. Now for the ignition, we've already talked about where it was connected to the DC converter. So I know I talked about this black wire here that comes out of the ignition and goes up and that's what's gonna control the timing of when the spark plugs fire. And I know I talked about the wire that comes out from the yellow and black from the converter and goes in to the ignition this one didn't have a connection. So I'm hoping that's where you can place a tachometer or RPM gauge. I'm gonna look that up. I know I was looking in one manual and I saw something similar to this because these wires here are shielded and so you can't use your traditional tachometer 
to record the RPMs, or at least you have to install it differently, and so I'm hoping that's how you install it. Here's an overview of the diagram, and so you see the battery wires coming in from the left, you see the converter in the middle, the two relays, you see the throttle coming up from the bottom with the wires, and then you see the electronic ignition on the far right-hand side. You could buy the electronic ignition, but make sure you get the twin plugs and get the correct one. So often it's better to go through a hobby shop to make sure you're getting the one for the DLE 170 because they sell a lot of single ignition lines um, on eBay. So here's the converter. You can find it on Amazon if you're looking for those parts. If your parts go out or you're just going to build one, you can get that for about $12.49. And then you can also get the two relays for $12.99 each on Amazon. So these parts are fairly easy to find.